What's up, guys? Welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. Today we've got Wrath for our seven deadly sins. Now, for Wrath, I've got blood and anger essentially tacked onto him. Perkwise, we've got fire up, because when you get angry and wrathful, you get fired up. So each time a gen is completed, we get a 4% stackable buff that increases our speed to picking up, dropping, vaulting, damaging, and breaking pallets and walls for the remainder of the trial. And with how fast people have been going through gens, I feel like we should get a decent amount of use from that. So we've got nowhere to hide after we damage a gen. Um, any servers within 24 meters, we can see them, which is very nice. I did this because you can't hide from wrath, and I have a big old eyeball on my head. And we've got Spirit Fury because Fury is another word for anger and wrath. After we break two pallets, the next time we're stunned by a pallet, the pallet breaks. We're still stunned, but the pallet breaks. Then we got Mad Grit, because mad. When we're carrying a survivor, we don't suffer any cooldown for missed basic attacks. And if we do hit an attack, then that pauses their wiggle timer for four seconds. So it's kind of like we didn't get a penalty for it. Then we've got Renjiro's Bloody Glove. Just did this because blood. All survivors can see the blood orbs, but their aura is revealed when they come in contact with the blood orb. Then we've got a bloody sash, so increase our movement speed while absorbing blood orbs. Pretty nice. And then a wreath that increases blood points for brutality, because wrath and anger and punching and violence. So yeah, if you guys have a build you think would work better, let me know down in the comments below. But for now, let's hop in. Awesome. Yeah, we've had a couple good games, so it wouldn't be surprising if we just got steamrolled. Because skill-based matchmaking is fun. Okay, but enough of the pity party. I've been having too many of those, and no one wants to come. Let's see, what have we got? Beside a crappy map. Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm going to chase you. That Nia... I can tell she's not going to be very fun. Now, usually there's pallets all over the place. So I'm lucky and you are not. Cool. Are we going to have a Nia come out of nowhere? No? Alright, cool. I'm going to take you over to the corner. Also, usually I match my clothes to whatever I'm recording. Totally forgot to change from when I was recording the gluttony build. Why is there no door? Should we see where they are? Oh, you didn't go for the pallet. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Uh, do I make it? Ah, darn. I got greedy. That's that's okay. That's okay. We're good. Just walk towards you menacing. Okay, ready? We're gonna try to circle around and get those people. Oh Well, shit. This seems to last for a really long time. Well, that sucked. Ah! 
Thanks. I was doing really good in the beginning. I really was. But then I really lost it very quickly. Good one. You really got me. No. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, I'd like to be able to hit someone with my... Ah, oh, shoot. Hey. I'm surprised more dudes aren't running into blood orbs. Hello. Nah, I'm coming for you. Oops, a daisy. You say I hook right there? No, I don't. E yeah, let's go try to find someone, I guess. Sure, this will be so fun. Oh, wait. You're not who I thought you were. That was unfortunate. Uh, come on, man. I can't waste time with you anymore. Who are you trying to be all chivalrous? What's your plan, dude? Because it's not working. here so they can immediately unhook you. Oh, that's only your first hook. Awesome. No. I 
didn't like that very much. Don't do it again. Hallelujah. It's one down. Okay, it's been a good match thus far, but uh, that other Sable is doing mad work, so I'm a little worried. So I gotta remember, I don't have a lot of hooks over here. Shit. That's just where I was going. Where did he go? Shit. I like a fast attack I can do. I figured you'd be going over here. Yes, and he couldn't make it for the save. This is her first hook, so honestly she could get herself off. I need him to run into a blood orb. Where are you, Jake? Well, now they're both injured, so that's good. They're both gonna heal, probably, but... Hey, Jake, how's it going? Ah, this isn't broken. Awesome. Usually I break all the pallets, but not today. Where is she? Are you? Yeah, I'm not killing you. Man, I sure wish that there were doors. Yeah, I saw you. Come here, Sable. It'll be quick. I promise. I don't have any... Yes, take me over to where I do have hooks. I don't have any over here. Should have watched where you were going? Actually, should have watched where I was going. Ups a daisy. Oh no. Jake had two hooks. I misunderstood. No, I can do this. Ups a daisy. Yoink! Cool. And I actually got a down with the power, which I wasn't expecting, because I was not doing great for a minute. Let me thread that needle. I've run out of thread. <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, there you go. I feel like that one went pretty well. All right. Well, that was our Wrath Seven Deadly Sins build. Hopefully you guys had a good time. I actually did.
It was a good game, a lot of back and forth. Things were close. It wasn't neither side was really getting steamrolled. Um, it was nice. So if you guys also I just noticed this is the top knot, I think, of the dude's whose face is on the sword. Anyways, if you guys have a build you think would work better, let me know down in the comments below. But make sure to like and subscribe until next time. Stay spooky. Toodles. Cool.